Okay, so that's the Rampage Extreme motherboard running. One stick, of course, so you don't want to cheat the uh, memory. Custom water cooling on the CPU. And here we have a past run in SuperPi 32M, so 9 minutes, 28.03 uh, seconds. And the CPU is running at 5 gigahertz with 1.32 volts, but only one core running. So this CPU has very interesting uh, single core quality. So the single core or the first core is very strong. It can do uh, SuperPi 32M at 5 gigahertz with 1.32 volts roughly. And I could do 5 gigahertz in Pi Fast as low as 1.28 or 1.29 volts, like 1.28 volts. So that's in, that, it's, that, it's, that is extremely strong performance, and it, that's definitely the lowest voltage that I've ever seen for 5 gigahertz on E8600. The uh, lowest voltage for 5 gigahertz that I've seen this far has been by Tapaka or Sam OCX, and he ran well with both cores running with uh, like 1.34 or 1.35 volts with simple air cooler. That CPU was obviously damn awesome and I still think that that CPU is better than this at least on LN2. So this CPU doesn't have a high enough VID value so it's not like in the golden range but I think it's still worth trying. The uh, temperatures on this CPU were quite warm so warmer than what I've generally seen on E8600s so I think it's still worth trying, but it's very likely that it's not going to scale. But still, very interesting uh, findings nonetheless. And uh, the uh, stick is uh, Dominator GT1866 K7. So, uh, pretty interesting. We'll be definitely trying this on LN2 later. So, uh, if it's not good enough, then I will probably sell the CPU, but just wanted to share these results. So, uh, this is definitely the range you need to look for if you want to aim for the best possible uh, performance and results with the E8600. So 5 GHz at well below 1.4 volts.